Hey gang, Jack Allaire here, and I just want to tell you that it has been some very weird years, and I missed most of 2021. Uh, but at least the games that came out were outstanding for this year. The one that I want to cover today is called Unpacking. This game came out of nowhere, and it is a puzzle home decorating game made by Witchbeam, which is a small indie studio based in Brisbane, Australia. I first fell in love with this video when I watched Jane from outside Xbox play a bit of it on a stream, and it was just captivating. There was something about watching her place things in different locations based on what she would have done when she was the same age as the main character. And when I eventually played it, I had that same connection as well. When I got it, I was instantly teleported back to my childhood. Finding a place for my tape player, board games, stuffed animals, action figures, all while trying to leave enough room in the bed for me to eventually climb in there. The game itself is about taking things out of boxes and placing them in different rooms. But the beauty of the game is that through the different moves, you see what survived from one place to another. And it tells you what this person deemed important to move a bunch of times. I was in the United States Army when I was younger, so this part hit home a lot. I had to pack and repack everything from my initial leaving of home to every time I moved uh, rooms, barracks, or even bases. It would, I would have to pack everything up and decide what stays and what goes, and then unpack it all when I got wherever I was going. The fun is also the sound design, which is amazing as things make different noises depending on what surface you set them on. If I set a book on the shelf, it makes a different noise than on the floor, for instance. Also a different noise on the bed, on the back of the toilet. Wherever you put it, there are different noises. Setting a can of air freshener different places took up a huge amount of time, and I loved every moment of it. The visual touches are great as well. I spent a great deal of time trying to identify the different uh, video games, movies, board games, books that are placed throughout the game to try and identify what they were meaning when they set that item in the game and what it tells us about the person who is the focus of the game. This is one of three games that I have completed this entire year, and it was well worth my time and my money. I absolutely loved the evolution of time and emotion that happens in this game. From the tape player to mp3 player, from giant beige box to sleek black monolith, and from having awesome roommates to needing to move back home. This game walks through a lot. And if you're really thinking about how it relates to your life, like I did, there's quite a lot to unpack. That's it for me. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, play on.